You have reached your destination. Yep. All right, so I've uh, here's my old my old wiper motor, and it's kind of crappy. Um, it barely turns. It it, uh, it it doesn't work, and it's uh, no good to me. So, got myself a new one. Uh, thanks, Wyatt. I have greased the ever living shit out of it, and I thought I would show anybody who is interested in how these things work. So, um, just right quick, this piece slides over. Uh, the spindle here. I'm, I'm about to put a lock ring on there. There's some stuff here. Um, this pi whoops. This piece just locks into this. There's no god dang it. Come on. There's no locking mechanism under there. I could lift this entire thing up if I needed to. And this is one long cable with a spiral wire uh, wound to it. And <clears throat> you'll see that the uh, the cable goes in and out. As a uh, as a result of the uh, the motor working here, and that in turn uh, works the uh, the uh, god dang it the blade things the those things I don't know what the fuck they're called here this this is for a TR7 but it's the same principle but on a slightly larger scale you can see that on the inside this turns. And as the, why is my, god dang, this thing doesn't, it, it's not uh, focusing shit today. Anyway, hold on, let me pause, I'll undo this. All right, so anyway, uh, that cable will go through the bottom of this, this, um, this windshield post, I don't know what to call it, the white blade post, I don't know. And as that uh, cable goes back and forth, it turns this back and forth, which of course, turns this back and forth and with the wiper blade back and forth it goes so again this is much larger this belongs to a TR7 a Triumph and I've got brand new ones from Moss that I've uh, that I've got I'm gonna grease the shit out of it um, put this away and here by the way is the assembly that comes with the MGA you can see how much smaller uh, the posts are compared to the TR7s, much larger of, of a uh, of a difference. Um, what's up, cat? Um, through these, that cable will run. Okay, uh, this is what screws on to the end of the uh, of the motor, which is this piece here, and that's that. Um, I don't know a whole lot about these things, but I believe this is the breaker mechanism. If the uh, if, if if the windshield motor or whatever the hell it is doesn't turn correctly, or only has a, a minimal sweep, this is what you adjust by loosening the cover and turning this. What you don't see yet is this piece going back on to here, and I'll show that here in a sec once I'm done. And I've cleaned it up. Um, I'm using a, uh, uh, a basic multi-purpose grease. I've used this on Fiat's, I've used this on Mercedes, a Porsche, uh, now the MG, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, it doesn't uh, gum up under cold weather. This stuff's awful gummy. Um, I'll clean that off. Yeah, that's sludge now more than it is uh, grease. Um, and I will... Uh... Yep. <laughs> continue to clean this up and uh, I'll clean all the metal and all that other stuff oh yeah let me, let me show you how it works I turn it on that's it that's all it does and you can see how the cable uh, will move I can probably turn this on a higher level I'm at uh, 20 amps on my battery charge let's try 50 real quick Yep, there's higher. That's 50 amps, uh, which is pretty indicative of um, most uh, most uh, chargers and uh, batteries. I'm sorry, batteries and 
so forth. I was going to say generators, but I've got an alternator in mind. Um, output's pretty good. Uh, if I'm doing something completely egregiously incorrect, I would love to have somebody contact me. Um, especially if I'm about to put this in. I'm going to clean the hell out of this mount into one of my brackets. Here's the, uh, here's the one that I got. I cleaned up a little bit. Here's the old one. I'm going to mount it to that and I'm going to call it a day. I've also taken this, uh, this cable to my, uh, my, uh, my sink and I have gotten all the junk and, and so forth off of it. Um, it actually wasn't as dirty as I thought. It just had a lot of dust and stuff, so it, it, it would have been fine. Once I start assembling things and putting it back into that assembly there, I'm going to grease the ever-loving crap out of it and uh, call that a day. So, yeah, there you go. Interesting. But, here's the thing. This is the TR7 motor. And I've got... I think it's low and high, or vice versa. I've got a dual speed thing here, right? So check this out. Yeah, that's high speed. Here's low speed. And, boy, oh, it's tempting. It is freaking tempting to pull this sucker apart. Yeah, hold on a sec. And uh, by the way, here's the, uh, the thing on there. I'll show you how it looks when it's turning. And that scribes a circle in this, and that open portion there is um, is the breaker. You'll often hear, well, at least in my circles, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll hear this called an open seeking circuit. I used to work on this kind of stuff with the Navy and uh, old, old, old receivers had this kind of a system. Brings me back. Okay, so anyway, um, if circumference equals uh, pi times the diameter of that circle, and that's the complete length of how far that cable goes. This has a reach of whatever the hell it is. I have no clue, but uh, I suppose I could measure it. I could do that. Versus this. It's going to be easier, easiest, if I just open this damn thing up and see if I can swap out the guts. Let me try that first. Okay, so... I want to measure between this, the center, and the center of the uh, of the rotating bit. I've already done that actually, <laughs> and that comes to just about 0.76. Um, if I had to guess, and I'm going to guess here, 0.76 times pi is about two. 0.38 or so, I think, inches. So this whole thing will move about 2.3 inches. So let's try this. I'm going to zero this out again. God dang it. Zero it out. Fucking A. Zero. It out. And let's do this. Just a little bit too far. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Plus or minus some. So, pi times this amount um, would come out to be about 1.84 inches, and that's as this thing turns, the cable will go back and forth 1.8 inches. Um, <laughs> I'm so clever. I've already done the calculation, let me. <laughs> so, top one here, obviously, is the, uh, the MGA's throw, 1.83 inches. 
and that's that cable going back and forth that amount of, uh, of uh, spin length. And the TR7, the same thing. Um, 2.83, 2.38, sorry, that's fine. So that's about a half an inch of, uh, half an inch? Yeah, about half an inch roughly of, uh, hold on. Yep, so the delta there, that's a delta sign, uh, not an A, <laughs> is about half an inch, half an inch and some change. So what that turns into with the, uh, um, with the, god damn, I don't know what they're called, the freaking spindle things that the, that the wiper blades hang on to, wiper spindles, I guess, I don't know, um, will translate to a much different amount. So I don't know if the wipers will go down and then up or down and then way the hell over. Um, likely way the hell over because on, let's see, where did I see that? Here it is. Come on. Not that you can see very well because the damn thing won't, uh, won't freaking focus, but th yeah, there it goes. One, two, zero degrees, 120 degrees. I was looking for the same marking on the MGA's one. I didn't see it, so that's why I did the calculation. Um, so, let's see, where's 120 degrees? Let's see. Can't see that too well. Is it 125? Damn, I forget my own god dang. Let me think here. God, it's been a long day. I actually had to stop and freaking add and then subtract and all kinds of other crap here. So, assuming that the wiper blades are parked and you turn the thing on, it'll go not to a 90, but to a 120 and then back. If I'm reading that that thing correctly as it's uh, as a correct marking. Um, so let's assume that here is the windshield washer or windshield windshield and I've got wipers here. Clearly this one wouldn't have any issue with the uh, 120 going all the way over. This one, and I don't know what to scale the uh, windshield is. Like this, there's the 90. Would I have an issue with the 120 or would I need to... Or could I mess with the wiper blade to make it shorter? I guess we'll find out. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to fabricate a mount for this thing that shouldn't be too tough. I've seen stuff on the MGA Guru site that talks about taking this out. You know, one option I've got is to drill at a distance of whatever it is through this thing. That point, what the hell was it? 0.585. Hold on, let me pause, I'll show you. All right, so the mounting is done. This is what came with the uh, the newer motor. I suspect it came from a Mark II, but don't quote me on that one. Why did no better? Um, obviously, it's much different than this one, which came out of my car. Uh, these are little grommets that uh, and the mounting stuff that came with it. Some of the stuff was junked out, so I'm gonna have to replace that. There is the TR7 motor. Get the grease out of the way. Here's a TR7 motor. Um, this has got to be zinc. It's not aluminum. It's definitely not steel because it didn't rust, but uh, it sure is malleable. It sure is soft. You can see some of the marks uh, from my wire wheel. And it looks awfully nice, though. I'm using that thing. It looks awfully nice. Except for the back, which I don't care about. So, the intention, once I do a little bit more research, is to uh, fabricate some sort of a clamp goes around this 
and uh, mix it tight against that. You can see that the two cable sizes are identical, so that's not going to be tough. The one from TR7 is quite a bit longer. Um, I'll show that to you side by side, end to end. So, there's the difference in length. That's what... 5 inches? 7 inches?-ish? Esque? <laughs> That's easy to, uh, to cut. I'll just use my angle grinder to trim that down once I know how far down I need to. And again, alright, so here's the thing. I need to know if anybody's actually done this. I realized that, uh, you know, I've done some research on this before. Um, some folks have put that spindle in there, as I had, uh, as I had discussed, at the .585 mark that you know this one does. Um, I'm more looking to see what happens if I do not do that conversion, and uh, what I'm facing. So if you've got some uh, some direct knowledge of this, and I'm talking direct, not the guy that I knew or I read online or Barney said. I trust Barney, but I'd like to know what happens if you don't do this, if I don't do this conversion and how far over a sweep will the uh, windshield washer blades go. Um, if it's more than a 90 or if it is truly that 120, I couldn't give a shit. I think. Yeah. So I'm going to wait on that. My next job is to put my pedal box together. Uh, I've got one in the mail. I haven't... I don't know, I'll put that... I'll, I'll do a different video on that one. Um, and uh, I'll get to going on that.